MSI is jumping into the Wi-Fi router market with its Romy Wi-Fi 7 mesh system. Hmm, Romy. Definitely some Nintendo influence there. Anyway, today we're checking out the entry level light version, which features a pair of routers to cover a large radius in the home. The Romy promises full house coverage to avoid that annoying spinning circle while streaming videos or network connection issue notifications while playing games. As long as your internet is working properly, of course. Don't blame the messenger. No, 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 no! So, how does the MSI Romy mesh system work and perform? That's what we're going to check out right after this message. I've made the mistake of not backing up my data and losing everything to drive failure. Definitely not a fun experience. So to avoid that in the future, why not use an award-winning backup solution like EaseUS to do Backup Home? Trial it for free in the video description. MSI's Romy doesn't look like your average router. Its stylish white triangular prism design actually looks good in the home and helps to mix in as part of the furniture. The design was no doubt a focus point as the Romy can also be wall mounted, which is uncommon. You don't need to stash this one away somewhere in shame if you care a lot about aesthetics in the home. Oh, and the LED down the bottom isn't obnoxiously bright and changes color to indicate the status. When it's working fine, it's solid white and blends in with the rest of the device. Nice. The Romy houses quite a bit of tech inside. Four antennas, a quad-core CPU, 256 megabytes of flash, and two gigabytes of RAM. Yep, just like a computer. The two Romy's together can cover up to 5,800 square feet. And while I can't picture that in my head, it sounds like a lot. So switching to metric, it's almost 540 square meters, which will cover most houses. Additional Romy's can also be added to go even further. Inside the box are two Romy's, a couple of power supplies with a plug for your region, a quick start guide, a wall mount for each Romy, and an ethernet cable. All come in white to keep with the aesthetic. Nice. MSI's Romy Light Mesh System comes in at 450 Australian dollars and includes a three year warranty. Each Romy has a sync button, two gigabit LAN ports for connecting wired devices, as well as a 2.5 gigabit port to connect to the modem. The dual band Wi-Fi supports speeds of up to five gigabits on the 5G band and much less on the 2.4G. You might be wondering, how can it push five gigabit speeds when it only has a 2.5 gigabit LAN for input? Good question. That's because as a node in the network, the router is receiving and transmitting data at the same time. So the speed is effectively halved. To get the full 2.5 gigabit speeds across Romy's, they need to have double the bandwidth. In an ideal scenario, of course. If you need a faster Romy system, there are higher end models coming soon, which will provide faster speeds and more network ports. This Romy light we're looking at is the base model. MSI promises on the box you'll be up and running in a few minutes, so I'm going to test that claim. There's a QR code in the box to download the app on your phone and start setting it up. Then it's just a matter of following the prompts which are clear on what you need to do next, such as scanning the QR code on the back of the Romy, connecting the modem to your Romy's yellow port with the ethernet cable, plugging in the power supply, and allowing the phone to find your Romy. You'll then use the login details on the back of the Romy to log into your account. Change your account password, create a Wi-Fi network password, and then it's ready for use. The second Romy is already paired to the first one, so all you need to do is place it somewhere else. Turn it on, and it'll pair in a few minutes. Once both Romy's have a solid white LED, you're all set. I was fully up and running in around 10 minutes. If you want to add more Romy nodes, or one from a different package, you can sync them using the button on the back to add them to the mesh system. More nodes means more wireless range. So what's the catch? Well, obviously bouncing the signal from one Romy to another adds a bit of latency. And speeds drop as well. The closer the nodes are together, the less latency, but also reduces wireless range. Whether the average person would notice any latency is unlikely with just two nodes, and the range at my house was ginormous, covering the backyard completely and going out across the street. I was able to get coverage across 84 meters or 275 feet with the nodes spread out from one end of the house to the other. Now I only have 100 megabit internet like a peasant, 
so I'm far off the maximum bandwidth available on this router, but I did try a few tests. First, within 6 meters or around 20 feet from the main router with the 5G band, I had full speed download and upload. Next, same test but this time 6 meters from the first node and there's a drop in download speed, while upload speed holds up. For the second test, I went as far out as I could to still hold a Wi-Fi signal and the 2.4G band automatically kicks in. My speed dropped to one tenth of my maximum using the main router and a 10% or so drop using the node. But the extra node helps cover the whole property with faster speeds than one Romy can handle. For Australian households where our internet speeds are well behind many other countries, the light version should be enough for years to come. If there's one complaint I have here, it's that the 5G and 2.4G band can't be separated as far as I can tell. They just work in tandem. Some other extras the MSI Romy includes is MSI Fortis Secu, which is extra network protection powered by Trend Micro. There are also parental controls to filter inappropriate content and limit the amount of time devices can be connected. I didn't have any problems with the app, although it and the Romy can receive updates if there are bugs to be ironed out or new features to add. The web login can do almost everything that the app can do. You can use the internet wizard for connecting to an internet provider, create additional networks for guests, the kids, or IoT products. The only thing you really need the app for is the Fortis Secu extra security and the parental controls. So to wrap it up, the MSI Romy Lite Mesh system provides a good entry level Wi-Fi 7 experience with plenty of range thanks to its additional node in the box. Setup is quick and painless, you only need your internet account login details if your service is not auto configured and follow the prompts. The design of the units is nice, and the wall mounts are an extra you don't find elsewhere. However, I'd like to see the option to split the 5G and 2.5G bands. While it is a Wi-Fi 7 router, it's an entry level option, so it's not pushing Wi-Fi 7 speeds very far. Also, the 6G band is not included. So the MSI Romy Lite helps extend the range of your Wi-Fi thanks to its two nodes, and the setup is very straightforward even for someone with limited knowledge. The light should be fine for almost everyone in Oz, since our internet speeds are still far worse than many other countries. Links for the Romy are in the video description if you're interested. Alright, that was something a little different, but my main focus on this channel is mini PCs. Did you know MSI also makes minis? You can check out their latest QB in my review right here. Cheers!